Hi everyone, it's Miss Kelly again from the Mifflin County Library with Storytime. I thought today for Storytime we would start with our shakers. So if you guys can find your shaker, go ahead and grab it and we'll do our shaky song first. Do you have it? All right. Can you shake your shaker with me? Shake her with me. Shake her with me. Can you shake your shaker with me? Let's put it on our... Let's put it on our nose first. Can you find your nose with me today? Ready? Put your nose, put your shaker on your nose and let's shake. Can you shake your shaker with me? Shake her with me. Shake her with me. Can you shake your shaker with me? Let's put it on our... Where should we put our shakers now? Let me listen. Tell me where we should put our shakers. Oh, on our chin. That's a great idea. Can you find your chin? Ready? Can you shake your shaker with me? Shake her with me. Shake her with me. Can you shake your shaker with me? Let's put it on our... Where should we put them now? Pick a new spot. On our ears. All right. Find your ears. Ready? Can you shake your shaker with me? Shake her with me. Shake her with me. Can you shake your shaker with me? Let's put it on our... Pick one more spot. Where should we put it now? On our hands. All right, find your other hand. Put it on your hand. Ready? Can you shake your shaker with me? Shake her with me. Shake her with me. Can you shake your shaker with me? Let's put our shaker away. That was fun. I have another story to share with you today. This story is called When the Fly Flew In, and it is written by Lisa Westberg Peters. It looks to me like there, we're going to see a lot of animals in this story. I see a doggy right there trying to take a nap, but who's on his nose? Do you see that? It looks like it's that fly. And there's a cat and a hamster. Oh, and I almost missed a bird up there. It looks like a parakeet. Let's see what happens in this story. When the fly flew in. Oh, looks like there's the front door of the house. And can you see it? It's kind of hard, but there's a fly sneaking in the keyhole of the door. That must be how the fly got into the house. There's that fly again. Did you ever have a fly in your house? Flies can be very pesky. They fly and buzz around a lot of times in your face and you have to swish them away. Let's see what this fly does. Oh, I see the fly. It's hard to see, but it's right there, right at the beginning of the story. In a quiet room, a dreaming dog wagged his tail. A fuzzy cat snoozed. A plump hamster napped in a shoe. And a sleepy parakeet whistled on the bedpost. I can't clean my room, a child whispered to his mother. All the animals are sleeping. I'll clean it later. It does look like it needs clean, doesn't it? Look, I see clothes and with some socks piled up there and toys down here. There's some crayons on the floor. Oh, hope those animals wake up so the boy can clean later. Oh, there's that fly. When a fly flew in, the dog opened an eye, wiggled a whisker, then leaped up to catch it. The fly turned left and the dog's tail sent a dozen dinosaurs sailing. Oh my, there might be an even bigger mess in that room to clean up after the fly leaves. The fly turned right and the dog's tail swept a mountain of muddy pants and crusty socks off. Oh dear, oh dear, what is happening? The fly turned in circles. And the dog's tail pushed a pile of moldy apple cores and banana peels. But the fly was always one turn ahead of the dog. Why does it look like those apple cores and banana peels are going? Hmm. Looks like that might be, maybe that's the trash can. 
Maybe this won't be a messy room after the fly leaves. Let's find out. When the fly buzzed by the cat, the cat streaked after it. There's the fly down there hiding. The fly zigged, the cat zagged. The fly zagged and the cat zigged. Oh my goodness. But the fly was always a zig or a zag ahead of the dust moth cat. The cat looks worn out, poor kitty. When the fly stopped to nibble on a cookie crumb in the closet, the hamster took notice. The hamster didn't care about flies, but he did care about cookies. He shooed the fly away and ate the crumb in the closet. Then the raisins on the radio. Even the popcorn inside a party hat. But the fly always stayed one nibble ahead of the hamster. When the fly zipped around the ceiling, the parakeet clo watched closely because watching flies is a bird's business. But she couldn't watch any longer. There's that fly. Zoom! She swooped into a corner full of cobwebs. Oh my. Zap! She flapped behind the curtains thick with more webs. The parakeet gobbled up the spiders and their webs trailed from her wings like kite strings. But the fly was always one web ahead of her. Oh, look at that room. It doesn't look like it's messy anymore, does it? It looks pretty clean. And there's that fly again. In a quiet room, a dog twitched his tail as he dreamed about flies. A cat curled up, her coat licked clean. A hamster settled down for a second nap. A weary parakeet fluffed her feathers. The fly flew out. And the room was clean. Boy, maybe that fly needs to come and visit my house. My house could use some cleaning. Do you think your room needs a cleaning by a fly? That was a fun story, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. I have another story I'd like to share with you before I go today. But this story, you're going to need your handkerchief or tissue. So go ahead and grab those. And while you're getting your handkerchief or tissue, I'm going to put a little bear up on my board here. Let's see if he'll stick. There he goes. He's sticking to my board. And this story is called Bubblegum Bubblegum. And it's by Paula Ghosh. So I thought while I read the story, you could use your handkerchief, your scarf, your tissue, whatever you have and pretend it is the piece of bubble gum that's in this story. Are you ready? Bubble gum, bubble gum sticking on my nose. Find your hanky and put it on your nose. Bubble gum, bubble gum sticking on my, where's that? Toes. Go down to your toes, stick to your toes. Bubble gum, bubble gum sticking on my, Hair. Oh my goodness, that would be a horrible place to have bubblegum stick. It would get all stuck in there and you'd have to get it out with maybe some scissors, maybe some ice, I don't know. Bubblegum, bubblegum sticking in my ear. Move it to your ear. Yes. Bubblegum, bubblegum sticking on my... What is that? Gum. Put it on your tummy. Bubblegum, bubblegum sticking on my, what is, oh, my bear's gonna slide. What is back there? Your bum, stick your bubble gum to your bum. You ready? Bubble gum, bubble gum sticking on my chin. Bubble gum, bubble gum stick.
sticking on my shin. Put on your leg. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sticking on my eye. Bubble gum, bubble gum, time to wave bye bye. Before we say goodbye, do you think since we already have our handkerchief, scarf, tissue, whatever you've got, that we can sing popcorn kernels again? I love singing popcorn kernels and I've missed singing it with you. Are you ready? Open your handkerchief up big and wide and we'll wave it up and down. Let's start slow again. Are you ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. That was great. Can we go a little bit faster? Just a little bit. Open it up big and wide again. And let's go a little bit faster. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Do you think we can go even faster? I know this is our favorite part when we do it at the library. So let's wind up our legs. Ready? Go super duper fast. Crank them up. Wind up your arms. Wind up your mouth to sing really fast. Open your scarf big and wide. Are you ready? Big breath. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, them till they pop, till they pop. That was so fast. We did it. I hope you had a great time with stories, time with me today, and I'll see you again soon. Have fun today. Bye.